Hey guys, it's me, JSHDIY. In today's video, we are going to be testing out soap slime recipes. So if you would like to test these soap slime recipes with me, just keep on watching. Today's notification squad shoutouts go to Experimental Cotton, the also Alana Luda. If you are new to my channel and don't already know, all you have to do to join the notification squad and get the chance to get a shoutout in my next video is just make sure you have the notification bell clicked and you are automatically entered in the notification squad. So the first no glue slime recipe we are going to be testing out today is DIY Suave Soap Shampoo Slime. First, starting off with making no glue slime. One of the first shampoos slash soaps that I found that was activating by using salt was actually Suave Shampoo and specifically the three in one. As one. of recent years, I haven't really tested that many Suave Kids shampoos. Simply because slime. I was becoming more drawn to the Pantene shampoos and other shampoos that had more clarity than the Suave Kids three in one type of shampoos did. Last week on Instagram, I got a message from one of you guys that was really urging me to check out this specific Suave suave kids shampoo slime recipe and so i wanted to just give it a try today especially because it's with a suave kids shampoo that i've never even seen or used before so we're going to be testing this out today so first off the type of shampoo that we have been told to use for this slime is the suave kids surfs up two in one. now back when i used to make more suave kids shampoo slime the type of suave kids shampoo i would use was the three in one watermelon one because i found that it activated the nicest but apparently this specific new one activates with some water and salt and that is it. When I found this out, I went to Amazon and I ordered some of this Suave shampoo so that we could try this out today. And as far as making the recipe went, it was just easy. I just added the shampoo into a bowl and then I added in some water and salt and stirred. And I continued to add salt until it felt like it was starting to activate. Now, it was a little weird because it was starting to absorb the water and the salt really well, but I felt like I had to add in a ton of salt and I thought that it was affecting the color of the slime and making it turn white. But I messaged with the recipe sender and she said that this slime actually oxidizes in color, which is something that happens a lot of the times when you're making a shampoo slime that gets left uncovered so that extra water can evaporate out. So I wasn't super worried once I heard that. The formula of this shampoo felt similar to Pantene shampoo once activated, once I had added in all of the salt. And so I was super excited and I let this sit for a couple of days for excess water to evaporate out. And this was what I got. was absolutely in love with the texture of this slime it smelled so great and that was something i always loved about suave kids shampoos is they always had the best scents so i was absolutely obsessed with this slime also the whitening problem didn't end up being an issue because it resolved itself after evaporation and also just letting it sit so the salt didn't affect the clarity Next slime recipe we have been requested to test is Dial DIY Shampoo Slimes. Now, I have not made that many different slimes with Dial Shampoo. I feel like Dial is more known for their hand soaps, but today we are going to be testing out two Dial Shampoo Slimes to see how they are. So the first one we're going to be testing out is this purple Dial Shampoo so The slime. recipe we're going to be applying to this shampoo is really simple. All we're going to be doing is just sprinkling salt on top of the shampoo and leaving it uncovered and the salt will absorb over time. And you're supposed to know when you're done waiting once it has darkened in color because that is how you know excess water has evaporated out. And when excess water has evaporated out, it also will be 
thicker because it has dried out and the shampoo is supposed to feel like slime from the combination of drying out and the salt and this completely worked and the slime was really good it was sticky because obviously it's fully made of shampoo but the slime was holdable and it clicked and it just had this very clear look to it which i like finally i don't think i'm gonna be testing that many more dial shampoo slimes in the future because i really don't like the scents that they have it has like this smell that almost gives me a migraine it's very perfumey and i just don't like what dial does with their scents but we are going to be testing one other dial shampoo slime because right now. the next one has been requested a million Filmed times that many follow-up recipes from my 2019 water slime video but in that video i did test a dial shampoo slime where it was water shampoo and salt and somebody wanted me to retest this so we're going to be retesting this right now basically all we need is just water the dial shampoo and salt the salt and everything is all mixed in all you're supposed to do is simply just let this sit to dry out and that is exactly what i did As you guys can see this slime recipe worked it has been so long since i've made this water slime so it was fun to do and i have never tried it of course with this exact shampoo so it was interesting and the color kind of oxidized to this glacial grayish blue color and i decided to add in some glitter as well just for fun soap slime recipe we're going to be testing out is 15 minute shampoo slime so we are going to be seeing if this recipe works for the slime we are going to be using the og eggs coconut water shampoo and apparently all you need for this is just this water and salt because what you're supposed to do is mix the ogx coconut shampoo with water and then add salt and put it in the fridge for 15 minutes and within 15 minutes you're instantly supposed to have a slime now this slime is not supposed to be clear but i guess the main distinction with this recipe is that it is completely thickened and everything so we're going to be seeing if this works right now After mixing everything up and putting it in the fridge for about 15 minutes or so this is what i got the texture was very thick it has a sticky texture but if you've ever made slime with ogx coconut water shampoo you know it just has this very very thick like glue like consistency that is really good and so i personally liked this recipe especially because we got more slime by having water in it so this water slime recipe is a thumbs up from me
Snow Glue Slime recipe we're going to be testing out is hand sanitizer plus shampoo. So we're going to see if this works at all. Let this specific combination set for I think one whole day or so and this is what I got as you guys can see this did not work soap slime recipe we're going to be testing out is this Elsa Suave Kids shampoo slime so first off when I opened it the shampoo I noticed it had a weird consistency it almost looked like a guar gum type of ingredient was used in it because it was super thick and because it wasn't clear I decided I was going to add some metallic powder because it was already slightly metallic but it was in between being metallic and white so I added in some of this holographic iridescent purple to pink chameleon metallic powder the slime recipe all we're supposed to do is let it sit for three hours and it's supposed to be slime when we come back to it after mixing and adding in air bubbles After three hours from mixing the shampoo, I came back to it and this is what we got, aka still shampoo, except for surprisingly, it was thinner than when we first poured Next it out slime of the slime recipe we're going to be testing out is the Viral Watermelon Shampoo Dish Soap Slime. So for this, you are going to be needing the Herbal Essence Reddish Colored Shampoo and also Green Dawn Dish Soap. So we're going to be seeing if this Viral Slime actually works and this is the perfect epitome of soap slime because we're using shampoo and we're also using dish soap. So starting off, I added in my herbal essence into this container and then alongside you're supposed to take some dish soap and squirt it out of the bottle and because it kind of has a thin nozzle you can just squirt it to the very bottom and this is supposed to represent the rind of a watermelon. I went through with my finger and tried to fix the shampoo and the dish soap because they kind of had it mixed together but then after that all you're supposed to do is add some salt and then let this sit. After letting it sit to clear up for a couple of days, I got this beautiful watermelon clear dish soap shampoo slime, and I am obsessed with this viral soap slime trend. It is incredible. Soaps together also smelled so good, it almost represented an actual watermelon because the herbal essence shampoos always smell so sweet and amazing, and the dish soap kind of added a little bit more of a watermelon scent because it was green apple. The scents together mixed to be a literal watermelon scent, so I totally approve of this shampoo dish soap combo trend, and I think that this watermelon viral slime is incredible. You guys so much for watching this video i love you guys all so much and if you are new to my channel make sure that you're subscribed if you like my videos so that you guys can come back for more and click the notification bell like everyone else has done so that you get notifications whenever i post you guys can also follow me on instagram at jshdiy if you guys want behind the scenes and i will see you guys on one of the videos up on the screen i'll see you guys over there click on one